it. It is 2.18 a.m. in the morning here in Chicago, Illinois, which probably explains why we have such a light turnout, guys. 28 players out of 50. Six minutes left until it starts. I will let the clock run all the way to the end to see if we can get any more players. We usually get 50 of 50, guys. Right now, if you guys want to join, it's a good time. The hashtag is on your screen right now, Y2RLCJR, and the password is Twitch. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and open up some chests as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing what comes out of those chests, here we go, guys. I'm curious myself. Let's go ahead and see what's up. But first, I want to check the shop. What do we got in the shop right now? Oh, oh, look at that. We got some executioners. I think I'll buy an executioner. I think that I will. Let's go ahead and get one... I don't know. Let's go upgrade it first. See how many more I need. I think we need four for the next upgrade. So I might not be able to buy enough to upgrade it because I don't have a lot of gold left. But let's go ahead and do it anyway, guys. Let's go ahead and upgrade it up. Um, Hang on a second, guys. I'm getting some notifications on my phone. So I do want to check it up because I don't want to ignore anybody, guys. People send me tweets and messages on Instagram. If you guys are interested in following my social media, it's at Pro Wrestling Gamer. Everything's Pro Wrestling Gamer, guys. My YouTube channel is Pro Wrestling Gamer. My Twitch and my Instagram and my Twitter are all Pro Wrestling Gamer. All right. So we bought that. Let's go ahead and upgrade some cards real quick. Let's see what we're going to do here. We only got 12,000 <laughs> 12, gold. That's all we got. I was going to say 1,200, but no. I'm glad we don't have 1,200. I'm glad we have 12,000. So let's go ahead and upgrade this executioner real quick. 400 gold. Can't beat it, guys. Got to get it done. All right, not bad. How many executioner cards do we have right now? We have two or four, so I'm not going to buy any more because they get kind of expensive. I'll just wait till it pops up in the shop again, then I'll buy two more. Save myself some gold that way. Anything else I can upgrade? Should I upgrade the tornado card, guys? Yes or no? I have no idea. I probably will. It's 8,000 gold, so I might go ahead and upgrade it. Uh, that'll leave me with only 4,000 gold, though. I'm not really running an executioner deck right now because that's the only reason why I would upgrade it. I would upgrade the tornado card so that I can go ahead and run my executioner and build a deck off of that because I definitely love the combination of executioner and tornado. I love it, guys. Let me actually see what's going on right now. Somebody's messaging me. One second. All right, cool, cool. No problems. No problems. Everything is working out just fine. Okay, guys, let's keep going. Let's see what else we can upgrade. If we can upgrade anything else while well, we got six minutes to kill. Or actually, I'm sorry, we got four minutes to kill. Once again, guys, the password is Twitch. And your hashtag is on the top of your screen right there. If you guys are interested in joining, please do so. We got 28 out of 50 players. So we got several spots available. 22 spots left. Four minutes until the tournament starts. Uh, back over here. Trying to see what else I can upgrade right now. I don't want to upgrade goblins or anything like that. I just want to upgrade cards that I use. That's all I want to do is upgrade cards that I use. Uh, what to upgrade? Rage spell? No, I don't think so. I don't use rage, really. I haven't used rage in a long time, man. Long time since I used rage. So let's see what else we can get. Ooh, the graveyard spell. 5,000 gold. God damn it, let's do it. Upgrade the graveyard spell because I do plan on using that in a future deck. One day, not now, but maybe one day. So my skeleton level goes up one level. Okay, I'm cool with that. How much does the next upgrade cost? I always forget with legendaries, guys. We don't want to use it. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I just want to see the information, info. So the next upgrade is going to cost 20k gold. Nice, nice. 20k gold. I always forget because I don't have any level 3 legendary cards. All right, guys. We got 28 of 50 spots in the tournament. Starts in three minutes. Light show up today, guys. Light showing. But if you guys want to join it up, the password is Twitch. T-W-I-T-C-H. Password is Twitch, guys. Y2RC. I'm sorry. No, no. Your hashtag is Y2RLCJR. And the password is Twitch. If you guys want to join up, it starts in two minutes. All right. Let's go back over here and open up some chests. The quest. The quest. The quest that I've been chasing for months now is to try to get a legendary card out of a free chest. Has not happened yet, guys. We're going to go ahead and see if it can happen right now. Will it happen? Yes or no? So far, the answer is no. It's always no. Man, people get legendary cards out of free chest like all the time. I see it on Instagram and Twitter all the time. Look at me. I got a legendary card out of a free chest, and I just can't seem to pull it off, guys. Can't do it. But we did get an epic card right there, so that brings us another tornado card. Not a bad deal, guys. It's always nice to see an epic pop out of a free chest, so that's pretty good. Uh, silver chest time. Maybe we'll get a legendary out of a silver. Uh, highly unlikely. Highly unlikely, guys. It's so hard to get those damn cards, I swear. That's why I always like the epic chest and the super magical chest that pop up every now and then. Because every now and then, guys, you get lucky with a super magical chest, and you will get a uh, legendary card out of it. Also, the clan chest will give you legendary sometimes. Not always, but... Clan chests have a very, very high uh, possibility of giving you legendaries. At least from my experience, I've gotten two clan chests with two legendary cards in them. 
Nothing good, nothing good. And, okay, I'll take the Elite Barbarians, even though I'm not running them anymore. I will definitely take those Elite Barbarians. See what else we get out of here. Anything good, anything good, anything that I like. No, nope, nothing that I like. Don't use Barbarian Huts. Check that out. It's a level 4. I got 429 Barbarian Huts. I don't think anybody uses those anymore. Just personally speaking, you know. I don't use them. I don't know if you guys do, but I don't. I would love to know. Ooh, new friendly challenge event. All right, and this tournament is about to start, guys. 28 players. Remember, your hashtag is on the top of your screen. If you guys want to join, the password is Twitch. All right, guys, the password's Twitch. Hashtag is on the top of your screen, Y2RLCJR. Let's keep going. Let's go ahead and open up this last chest, guys. The crown chest. Open it up right now. See what comes out of it. Gems. Dark Goblin. Seven Bomb Towers. 67 ice spirits and that's what i'm talking about guys it did not come out of the free chest but at least we got a ice wizard out of a crown chest not a bad deal right there guys not a bad deal at all ice wizard out of a crown chest that makes me super happy what a great way to start this stream um I don't really use the Ice Wizard, that's a problem. I got a level 2 Ice Wizard, so it's going to take me 3 more Ice Wizard cards before I can even upgrade it. But, guys, I got an Ice Wizard. I'm happy with that, man. I am super happy about that. All right. All empty chest slots, 3,600 trophies. You guys are probably wondering what my max trophies are. They were 4,062. That was the highest I ever got, and then they nerfed my deck. So that kind of sucks right now. I'm kind of stuck between 35 and 36, looking for a new deck to run. This is what I'm running right now. That's why I love watching tournament battles as well, because you learn a lot from these guys that come into the tournaments. They bring their best decks, and the tournament's about to start, guys. We've got only 28 players. Plenty of time to join up. The hashtag's on the top of your screen right there. And if you guys want to know what the password is, it is Twitch. All right, we're going to go ahead and see who's battling, guys. I have no idea. We got somebody battling already. Let's go ahead and check it out, man. So we got Aran VCS 159 Man, that's a hard name to say. I think uh, Arna? I think I'm just going to call him Arna. I don't want to say all that. All right, so Arna versus Upan Shu. Two new players, guys. I've never seen these guys before. We usually have a lot of regulars join up. Everybody's sleeping right now, guys. It's 2.25 a.m. I usually stream during the daytime. We usually get full tournaments, but I usually stream around 7 p.m. my time. Right now, I'm streaming at 2.25 a.m. Somebody requested to me. Somebody said, somebody from an Asian time zone was like, can you do a tournament just a little bit later, like around this time? And this is the time they wanted me to do it. So I said, sure, why not? I'll go ahead and give it a shot. They wanted me to do it right now so that they could join. And I always want to go ahead and uh, cater to you guys as best as possible. Up on Shu versus Arna. And already, Up on Shu loses that left tower, guys. That's not good at all. He, he goes ahead and deploys his Furnace card, followed by... Uh-oh. Nope, that's not even his own Skeleton Army, guys. That is an enemy Skeleton Army. The Furnace saves itself just barely, and he mirrors it once again. So I think he's going for the right lane right now. He's going to go ahead and protect his right tower, the only tower he's got left besides the King Tower. And he's also going to go ahead and try to mount a push on the right tower. Here comes the Goblin Barrel. Ice Golem, though. And look at that Executioner just taking out that Goblin Barrel like it's nothing, guys. A rocket coming in, beautifully placed by the way, it takes the Executioner out and does some tower damage, 1829 left on that right tower. And Hog Rider, Ice Bird combination, that's not good guys. That was a nice log because it killed off the Ice Bird, otherwise that King Tower would have been frozen and that Hog Rider would have went to town on it. I don't know why those Ice Birds ignored the Hog Rider guys, I think it was because it was almost dead, but that kind of sucked for him because Hog Rider actually made, managed to get one more shot in. Now we got two Furnaces guys and the Furnaces will start dealing out that damage. Check out the Ice Golem being used as a tank, and that's a beautifully placed. Actually, no, I take that back, guys. That's a poorly placed poison spell. The only reason why I say that is because he also could have gotten the, uh, King Tower damage as well. He did not drop it on the King Tower. He only dropped it on the Furnace, and uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. Another rocket coming in, guys, taking out the Executioner. 849 hit points left. It looks like he's doing a good job at making a comeback. He's got to worry about this, though. So the Ice Spirit does a good job at... Um, I had uh, taken out some of those skeletons, but that log skeleton army combination was too much for the hog rider. Tornado being used to pull everything in. Actually, I don't know if that was good or not, but it did get the job done, guys. It slowed his push down. Now he's got a skeleton army right there taking out the furnace card. But he's also got two more furnaces right underneath his tower, guys. Another goblin barrel being launched across the map. And again, the executioner is right there to meet up with the goblins. But another rocket taking out the executioner, and I don't think he got tower damage this time. I'm not 100% sure. He's got 743 hit points left on the right side. That is not good for him at all, guys. Not good at all. Hog Rider. This time the Hog Rider makes it. It does not get stopped because that tornado spell took out all the skeletons. So congratulations, man. First battle of the tournament. 
both players <laughs> I like when people use the crybaby face but both players expressing uh, good sportsmanship that's always awesome to see okay so if you guys want to join up remember guys we got 22 spots 56 minutes left in the tournament the password is twitch hashtag is on the top of your screen y2rlcjr password is twitch guys feel free to join you guys might have a good chance at winning this tournament honestly guys you might have a good chance but you will be given a run for your money no matter how good you are we do have some legendary players in here tonight guys legendary players in here that are very very good players master xd versus mgr can you guys are wondering what my clan name is just take a look right underneath mgr can's name that is my clan name right there guys clan killers and uh, Master XD is from Full Attackers. We've got the Crybaby face right now. we got a full-size P.E.K.K.A. deck and some Musketeers right behind it. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work out for MGR. This looks like a brand new deck for him. I've never seen him use this deck before. He's also running an Elixir Pump, which I don't know if it's good or not. It doesn't look like Master XD has projectiles. He does not, guys. He's got a Goblin Barrel, but other than that, it looks like he's pretty much safe. Uh, MGR is pretty safe to drop that um, Elixir Pump down. So let's see what happens right now. <laughs> the P.E.K.K.A. got pulled back and the crybaby face from MGR. It always makes me laugh because his P.E.K.K.A. got pulled back. But he is getting some good damage right now with that Princess. And now the P.E.K.K.A. is able to get a shot off because of the free spell. Bringing the tower down to 550 and now 410 with that Princess support. 270, guys. 270. He's doing an excellent job against Master XD from full attackers. Hog Rider coming across the map. It will get destroyed, guys. Check that out. What's up, Pro Gamer Sanchez? Welcome to the live stream, my bro. Glad to have you here right now. It's 2.30 in the morning, dude. I'm awake. I'm an insomniac. Somebody asked me to do a tournament later on in the nighttime. Their daytime, my nighttime. So I decided to appease you guys. That is why we're doing the tournament right now. Pretty low turnout, but not a bad deal. As long as we get back-to-back -back battles and people have fun, that is all that matters to me. Another P.E.K.K.A. Getting ready to take out that Hog Rider, but it's getting distracted, guys. A fireball comes in, poorly placed, by the way. And now his tower is down to five, 526 hit points. I think he should have used that fireball on Master XD's left tower. I'm just saying, guys, that P.E.K.K.A.'s going to get wiped out. Two Inferno Towers. One's about to go down, though, but that left Inferno Tower, the one that's left over, will bring the P.E.K.K.A. down, and he needs to cycle through and get his fireball like ASAP. Two seconds left on the clock, guys. One fireball away from victory. MGR is going to win this. I'm pretty positive he's going to get it done, guys. No idea why he's not deploying this fireball. We know he's got it. There it is. And that is the one crown win right there. Good job, MGR. I mean, you had to use a projectile. You couldn't get the P.E.K.K.A. across. But he did do a good job with that deck, guys. I very rarely see people using P.E.K.K.A. decks these days. And he did get the job done. 29 players now, 54 minutes. The password is Twitch. Your hashtag is on the top part of your screen. Let's go ahead and spectate the top player right now, guys. I'm sitting in fourth place. I will not be battling. These tournaments are for you guys. I love to spectate your battles because I want you guys to be just as much part of this stream as I am. I'm just here to call the action. Watch some fun battles. Call the action. Watch you guys having fun. That is what this is all about. Right now, it looks like that Hog Rider did not make it across the map at all. Skeleton Army devoured it. And now we got two Ice Golems, guys. Both players deploying Ice Golems. Another Hog Rider coming across the map right now. Two Hog Riders. One going up, one going down, guys. Both these players using very similar decks. Poison Spell, Hog Rider. Look at this, guys. Poison Spell, Hog Rider. What else do they got that's similar? Is that it? They're both running cannons and ice golems. Very similar decks. But we are being given the good game by Lord of War. Lord of War just beat the top guy, guys. He just beat the top guy. So that's probably going to put him in first place now. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to go. Because I don't know what Ar Arna... Arna? That's his name. Just call Arna. I don't know what his lead was right now. You're a wrestling gamer. I'm a pro gamer. Awesome stuff, dude. I'm glad to see you here, my bro. All right, so Lord of War takes first place right now, but let's go ahead and see who's battling in second place. Once again, if you guys want to join, we've got 21 spots left, 52 minutes left, and the hashtag is on the top of your screen. Password is Twitch, guys. Password is Twitch. All right. Master XD going up against Abhishek. Abhishek. <laughs> I hope I said that right. I'm so bad with foreign names, guys. So bad, man. Alright, so we got a Hog Rider Ice Golem push happening right now. There's one little teeny tiny archer in the back for support. That, that log was used a little bit too early. I'm sure he did not know there was going to be a skeleton army, but he did get significant damage on that right side. So, 1642 left on the right side right now. And uh, now it looks like Master XD is mounting his push and doing a pretty good job. Bringing him down under 2,000 hit points. 1918 versus 1642. Right lane battle happening right now, guys. Right lane battle. Let's see what's going to happen. Hog Riders going left and right, up and down, all over the place. 
And uh, Skeleton Army devouring that Hog Rider, taking out the Archer, making its way across the river. It will not get any damage because of the Ice Golem. Goblin Bell being flung toward that tower, guys. And it will get the damage done, giving Master XD the lead. No, no, he doesn't have the lead. They're pretty much tied up, separated by 10 hit points, guys. Wow, separated by 10 hit points. One minute and 35 seconds left in this battle. And both players are pretty much tied up. 10 hit points is nothing, guys. It's like a needle in the haystack. You will not notice it at all. So here we go. Musketeer and Ice Bear combination. Ice Bear going the wrong way. I'm sure he's not happy about that. <laughs> Ice Bear going all the way to the left side all by himself. And he gets the damage done. That's so hilarious. That cute little Ice Bear getting that damage done. Hog Rider coming in with Musketeer support. It will bring down the Inferno Tower and probably score a shot. It did not thanks to the log, but the Musketeer does fire off two shots before it goes down. And there are some frustration setting in by Master XD. <laughs> and the angry face by Abhishek. I've been avoiding saying his name, guys. I ain't gonna lie. I've been avoiding it because I don't want to say it wrong. I feel pretty bad if I do. But I'm very, very bad with foreign names. So here we go. 926 hit points left on Master XD's right tower, guys. He's from Full Attackers. Reddit Uprising is the opposing clan. And once again, I avoided saying his name. <laughs> that lightning strike bringing him down. Oh my god, he's down to 347 hit points, guys. He's going to go ahead and give him the wow. Because he's about to lose if he doesn't do something. And he has to do it very quickly. And that cannon distracts his hog rider. But he does send the goblin barrel across the map. Getting him just a little bit of damage. But the archers and musketeer cavalry stop that goblin barrel dead in his tracks. Now he's got a push to worry about. Ice Golem on deck. He uses the Skeleton Army. Gets wiped out by the log. He uses a log of his own along with the Princess to stop that push completely. Very good defense. But a Zap Thrub brings Master XD's tower down all the way. One last Goblin Barrel. Final hope. Goblin Barrel's not going to get the job done. The tower stays alive. And just like that, the match ends. One crown victory and a good game being given off as well. So I'm pretty happy to see this right now, guys. We've got some good sports up in here. I love to see good sportsmanship. That's one of the things I love to see. Still 29 out of 50 players, 49 minutes left. Back-to-back -back battles, guys. If you want to join, the password is Twitch. And the hashtag's on the top of your screen. Let's go ahead and go ahead. Um, go ahead and go ahead. Let's go check out Ooh La La. I like saying this dude's name. Ooh La La is a regular here in these tournaments, guys. Going up against Upan Shu. Upan Shu. Upan or Upan. Let's go ahead and call him Up. It's a lot easier to just say up, and he throws a goblin barrel across the map. There's an executioner there to meet him as well. The bowler will distract the executioner. Executioner versus bowler, and the archers help the executioner. I'm sorry, no, the bowler bring down the executioner. He gets a well played, by the way, guys. Upanshu getting a well played, but that left tower of Upanshu or up is down to 554 hit points. The log's not going to stop the damage from happening. And it looks like that left tower was unsalvageable, guys. He was recharging his elixir, getting ready for another push. Dropping down his furnace card. I think he's going to keep focusing on the left side. I don't think he should, though. I think he should focus on the right side. Yeah, he should focus on the right side. 1636. It just makes more sense. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He drops his executioner on the right side. Level 4 executioner. Throwing that axe. Wielding it up and down. And taking care of that graveyard spell like a champ. It's also going to go ahead and take care of that skeleton army. So that was wasted elixir for Wula La. Woo -la -la, though, has a good lead, but if Woo -la -la loses that right tower right now, and he does have the elixir, up oh, has the elixir, here comes the Goblin Barrel, guys, and the bowler taking out the Goblin Barrel along with the Zeth Bow. Rocket, though, going to do some damage to that bowler and that tower, bringing it down to 931 hit points, Executioner is down. So anyway, if up takes out that right tower, he will have the lead, guys, because his right tower is only down to 2397. He's throwing another rocket across the map. 390 hit points are left. I think one more rocket will bring that tower down. Not 100% sure, guys. Don't quote me on it. But I do know that the rocket does almost 500 damage. I think it does. So I think that tower will go down. I'm not sure, guys. We're about to find out, though, because we do know that Up's going to drop another rocket as soon as he's got it ready, available. Uh, 25 seconds left on the clock. He decides to go with the Goblin Barrel. Will the Goblin Barrel get the job done? It does get the job done, guys. But Wulala -la maintains his lead. His left tower has 1841. 477 left on the right tower of Upanshu. He goes ahead and he drops and oh no. The executioner was put a little bit too far, far out. That free spell helps him out a little bit. But nope, doesn't get the job done guys. I think that right tower is going to go down. It's sitting with 212 hit points. That is all that it has left. Sudden death right now. Goblin Barrel being flung toward that left tower. Don't think it's going to bring the left tower down. But it does do a good amount of damage. Check out those goblins guys. Melting that tower all the way down to 569 hit points or 65 and that is it though guys end of the battle i kind of knew that was going to happen i didn't want to call a winner because it was kind of close but i kind of knew Wulala was going to take it he just had too much of a lead at that point 
Damn. Good effort, though. Good effort. I got to give it to him. Good effort. 30 of 50 players. People continue to join. 46 minutes left. If you guys want to join, the password is Twitch, and the hashtag is on the top of your screen. You got 46 minutes left, guys. Plenty of time to work your way up in the ranks. Let's go ahead and check out Dragon Rage right now. Going up against Shadow 66. And I don't think I've ever seen either one of these players before in my entire life, guys. So brand new players, brand new to the stream, brand new to my tournaments. I do tournaments every two days. If you guys like tournament action, make sure you follow this channel. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel because my YouTube subscribers are the first ones to get notified, guys. So if you guys want to make sure that you get notified to get all the details, I post a video on my YouTube channel. It says, join my tournament. It's like Clash Royale, join my tournament. Today was Clash Royale, join my tournament 62. Tomorrow... If I do another tournament tomorrow, I think I might. It'll be Clash Royale. Join my tournament 63. But I usually do them every two days, guys. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Pro Wrestling Gamer. My Instagram and my Twitter are also Pro Wrestling Gamer. So everything is Pro Wrestling Gamer, guys. We got Shadow 66 versus Dragon Rage right now. And it looks like Dragon Rage is doing a good job hurting the left tower of Shadow 66. Shadow 66 deploys an elixir pump trying to build up that elixir advantage and so far we see no projectiles from Dragon Rage being able to damage those elixir pumps. So he's got two elixir pumps on deck right now guys. Two of them and already he's at full elixir. He's ready to combat that executioner. He's got to worry about that Pekka executioner combination though guys. Elite Barbarians are going to take a beating from the executioner Pekka combo. He drops a uh oh uh oh that free spell is no bueno guys. But check out that Pekka though. The Pekka decides to turn around and start chasing uh, those those barbarians that came out of that. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called anymore. The battering ram. I think that's what it was called. I haven't used that card since it was released. And did he just mirror tornado spells? It looks like he just mirrored tornado spells. But he did suffer some damage on the right side. However, he was able to save his left tower. He's got enough elixir to get it done. Right now, he's sitting on full elixir, though. Shadow sitting on full elixir. No idea why he was doing that. And finally, he mounts his push, guys. He's going with a ram and elite barbarians, which all got pulled by a tornado. And everything is frozen now. Unbelievable. I think they got to do something about those animations, though, with the ram, guys. Did you see it animating while it was frozen? They were still moving their legs while it was frozen. That was kind of weird looking. That's the first time I've ever seen that happen. I think they got to go ahead and modify that. That full-size Pekka doing some serious hurt to the right tower of Shadow 66. We will see overtime though, guys. Three seconds away from overtime. We're going to see it. Here it comes. Sudden death, man. 974 hit points is still a decent amount of hit points. He can still survive this. And if he plays his cards right, he might actually be able to defeat Dragon Rage. But I don't know if he's going to be able to do that or not, guys. The Executioner is going to take out those minions. So the minions were not a good drop. That was a really, really bad drop. And we're getting a good game. I think he should have held off on the minions. That balloon made it, guys. The balloon made it to the tower. He pulled it back with a tornado spell, trying to survive. And he uses another tornado spell to continue pulling back the balloon. Guys, that's determination right there, man. But look at the Executioner finally bringing the tower down. The end was near and he knew it. But he was so determined to stay alive. Congratulations to Shadow66, man. You really tried to keep yourself in the game. Wow. I love to see that effort, guys. I really do love to see that effort. All right. Let's go ahead and check out somebody brand new. Oh, too late for that. I fat-fingered the button. Uh, uh, Abhishek. Abhishek versus uh, Upan Shu. And, uh oh At least we came in at the very end of the battle, guys. That, that one rocket did it, man. The rocket did it. He tried to save himself with that lightning spell, but it wasn't enough. He left that tower sitting at 198 hit points. So it just was not enough to get the job done. Frustration setting in. Upan Shu winning that battle. All right. Who else do we got going right now, guys? By the way, if you guys want to join up, 43 minutes are left. The hashtag is on the top of your screen and the password is Twitch. Regular tournaments on my channel, guys. I do them every two days. So if you guys want to make sure that you get in on the action, make sure that you guys do follow this channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Everything is Pro Wrestling Gamer. My YouTube, my Twitch, my Twitter, and my Instagram are all Pro Wrestling Gamer. We got Lord of War versus Adif Krishena. Krishena, I think that's his name. We're just gonna call him Adif, and this battle looks like uh oh, it's coming to a close already, guys. 15 seconds left on the clock, and it looks like Adif is trying to defend himself. He just lost that second tower, so that's not a good thing at all right now, guys. Lightning strike, man. He's putting on the pressure hard out, man. Lord of War doing a good job dismantling him. Adif in trouble. He's crying, and he's going to get saved by the bell. It's not going to be a three crown, 505 hit points left on that King Tower, but the only reason he didn't go down was because time expired, man. That was it. Time expired. All right, let's keep going. MGR on top right now, and he's in my clan, so you know I got to be biased. I got to be biased and root for him. And this is a brand new battle right now. 
The stream is kind of so empty. I know, dude. I'm brand new to Twitch, dude. I got over 6,000 subscribers on YouTube, but I just started Twitch, so I got about... I think I got, like, I don't know, last time I checked it was like 116 followers here on Twitch. So the streams are going to be kind of light for a while until I can build it up. But I do appreciate you being here, my bro. I appreciate you being here. Um, so right now it looks like Upon Shoes doing battle against MGR Ken. And he's sitting in first place right now. He's from my clan, Clan Killers, representing us right, guys. I'm so happy to see one of my members sitting on top of this tournament. I gotta be biased. I'm sorry, guys. We never win these tournaments. Honestly, we don't. Anytime we get full tournaments, we get so many good legendary players, we just get our asses handed to us. And I'm in legendary, too, but I'm kind of low in the ranks. The highest I've ever been is 4,062 trophies. I got 62 legendary trophies. That's not much. But, some of these guys that show up, man, they're really, really good. Some of them are level, level 11, level 12. They get capped down to level 9, but they got high level cards and stuff like that. So they're really good players, they got good strategies, and they whoop our asses. So I'm kind of happy to see MGR Ken sitting on top right now, because he's in my clan. I'm so proud I can't stop saying that. He's about to bring that left tower down with that bowler, guys. One more rock should do it. And the rock gets it done. So right now it looks like a tight game. Frustration being shown by Upan Shu. He's disappointed that he lost that tower right now. But that doesn't mean that MGR Ken's going to win this battle. Not by a long shot, guys. And I seriously mean that. He's actually losing the battle by about 200 hit points right now. Actually, exactly 200 hit points. And here comes a rocket. Targeting the bowler for some oddball reason. But he does drop. Okay, nice counter to the graveyard spell. The skeleton army is. The free spell's not going to get it done, dude. I'm sorry, but the zap spell will help. So that zap spell kind of helped it along a little bit right there. Bringing the tower down. And now it's MGR with the lead. The problem is he's got to worry about this push, guys. Well, we're doing a good job at combating. Wow, the mirror goblin barrel is going to pose a problem right now. That mirror goblin barrel brought MGR's tower all the way down to 1552. That is really, really bad for MGR. We're about to go into overtime. We're going to see it, guys. In less than 10 seconds, we're going to get that overtime. And uh, I'm kind of worried about MGR. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm kind of worried about him. He used the zap spell, and he also used... So he actually forced Upan Shu to use one of those goblin barrels because he likes to mirror him. He forced Upan Shu to use that goblin barrel as a defensive tactic, guys. He was using it at offense, like mirroring goblin barrels. Here comes a rocket, though. The rocket's going to do some serious damage to that bowler. And it also brings the tower down to uh, 1,059 hit points. Another graveyard spell, guys. And once again, we see the skeleton army. He zaps it down. Will he freeze it? Does he have the free spell on him or not? Does he? I don't see a freeze, so he didn't have it on him, guys. 649 hit points remain on Upan Shu's tower. He's got full elixir. Here comes a push. He drops a log. It misses the left tower. I'm sure he wanted to hit the tombstone and the left tower. Do you ever stop talking? Not really, dude. Not really, but you can push the mute button. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Do you want me to sit here and just be quiet like this and just watch the battles? No, I don't do that, dude. I call the action, my brother. That's what I do. Call the action. 117 hit points left on the right tower, and Upan Shu steals it away, though, guys. Check that out. Upan Shu stealing it away. Amazing victory, and uh, MGR is going to get dropped. I'm so sorry, MGR. I was really hoping they would win this battle because I would have kept them on top. Where the hell did that drop him to? It dropped him all the way to fifth place, and now Lord of War is the new king of the mountain, guys. Lord of War, the new king of the mountain, sitting in first place right now, going up against MGR. So can MGR redeem himself right now? I don't know if he can or he can, but we're about to find out, guys. Lord of War is the top player, man. He's the new king of the mountain. He is the guy that took over MGR Can's spot. So MGR has got to win this. He's got to win this on sheer principle alone. Winning this battle is probably not going to put him in first place, but at least he will have the, the claim to fame that he beat the top dog, guys. He beat the king of the mountain. And once again, using that graveyard spell, ice golem combination, along with a bowler, which does go down thanks to that baby dragon. And uh, frustration setting in from MGR. Lord is laughing, of course. I would laugh too, guys. He didn't get too much damage. Lord still has the lead by about 200 hit points right now. And it looks like we're going to see a left lane battle. Both players focusing on the left side. Right side completely ignored. Full elixir on the right side. Fireball beautifully placed. He does damage to that pump. That is exactly why he did it, guys. He wanted to hurt the pump. He wasn't concerned with the tower. It's the pump. He doesn't want Lord of War to have that elixir advantage. So right now, MGR can versus Lord of War, guys. Left lane battle. I promise you guys. Here comes the goal. And that is scary. MGR needs to do something super fast because once we hit two times elixir and that's gonna happen in about 40 seconds That golem that golem deck is gonna get a huge advantage guys Usually that's what happens golem decks lava hound decks to get big time advantages when it comes to two times elixir if they're built right and played right 
And Lord of War is the top dog, guys. He is the number one player. So I'm assuming he knows what he's doing with that golem. And we're about to find out, though. That golem is kind of getting dismantled right now. But like I said, guys, we don't got to worry about much right now. MGR is still safe until about 15 seconds. In 15 seconds, that two times elixir is going to kick in. And we're going to see some major problems. MGR looks like he's about to go on a losing streak, guys. Both his towers taking damage right there. Both towers getting close to going under 1,000 hit points. 1,564 on the left side. 1,274 on the right side. And he's he's only been able to damage the right side of Lord of War. So that's what he's going to focus on right now. We went from a strictly left lane battle to a back and forth, guys. We're going back and forth on this one. Beautifully placed free spell right there, guys. Getting him the damage that he needed. And he zaps that mini P.E.K.K.A. along with a Mega Minion. Brings it down completely. All the way down to the ground. He manages to take out a tower, so that was really good for MGR, but two times Elixir is here, and we do got a Golem on deck, guys. So let's see what happens with the Golem on the left side, being supported by a Baby Dragon, both of them level 4. Nice Lightning Strike, by the way, guys. Lightning Strike doing that tower damage, also hurting the bowler. Baby Dragon distracted by the Ice Golem, not for long. Here we go, Graveyard Spell being used as protection, guys. Defense, not going to work, though. I'm so sorry, MGR, your tower's about to melt. I think that tower's going to go down. He's about a log away from taking it out. I think the log does about 100 hit points in damage. So he's got to do something really quick right now, guys. And wow. Oh, the lightning strike bringing it down. And the baby dragon on the right side making that tower. Oh, no. I thought that right tower was going to go down. Two bowlers, though. Check out those two bowlers doing damage on the left side, guys. Two bowlers doing damage on the left side. He's protecting this right side with the tombstone. 590 hit points. Now down to 361 hit points. Oh, my God, guys. Too close to call right now. Seriously, too close to call that baby dragon across the river. Not going to get the job done. 318 hit points. Oh, and the lightning strike did it, though. Frustration right there from MGR. He's so pissed off. He's so pissed off. I'd be pissed off. That lightning strike ran the tower down. It was so close, though, man. So close. But unfortunately, guys, there must be a winner and there must be a loser. 34 minutes left in this. Um... The hashtag is on the top of your screen if you guys want to join. The password is Twitch. Let's go ahead and check this guy out. I haven't seen him in a while. Ayush versus Black Smile. And Ayush doing a really good job already. 13 hit points left on that right side. So this is not a brand new battle, guys. There's 15 seconds left before we go into two times elixir. 15 seconds left on that clock. Mini Pekka coming across the map. I think that was a little bit too much elixir to waste. Honestly, guys, he should have threw some arrows. Not sure if he's got them cycled through, but arrows will bring that tower down. Hog Rider with some Fire Spirits creeping across the map. And that Electro Wizard doing such a good job. Oh my god, guys. Along with the Furnace, that Electro Wizard just brought everything down, including the tower. So there it is, right there. Right tower is down. Two times Lister is here. Let's see what happens, guys. First time seeing a Royal Giant deck on this uh, tournament. First time. People stopped using the Royal Giant ever since it got nerfed to all hell. But it's still a pretty decent card if you know how to play it. Especially when you bring down one tower. Because if you bring down one tower, then you can start deploying it across the river. And you can always score those quick and easy shots. There's the Royal Giant, guys, as predicted. And it takes a rocket. Oh, my God. What a great rocket that was, guys. But the Royal Giant does survive. Electro Wizard, though, is going to stun it to death. So the Royal Giant's not going to get too much damage at all. And I don't know why Black Smile decided to attack the left tower. Because he had more damage on the right side. Don't know why he did that, guys, but it's really not working out for him. With less than 10 seconds on the clock, he dropped a Hog Rider. Here is his final push, guys. Hog Rider gets distracted by the Furnace Cart, and those Fire Spirits kind of help bring it down, but the Hog Rider will not get there in time. So there we go. Another win, guys. Another win. This one for Ayush. Good effort by both players. Love seeing these battles, guys. Everybody always bring in their A-game to tournaments. 33 minutes left in the tournament. The password is Twitch. Plenty of time left for you guys to join. The hashtag's on the top of your screen. You guys want to win some loot? This is the place to be right now. You guys want to have some fun battling it out in tournaments? This is the place to be. Once again, the Royal Giant. Wow. And you guys seen it across the river right there. A Kong having a hard time bringing that Royal Giant down. It did steal away a lot of hit points from that left tower. 1580 left on the left tower, guys. And uh, 16, 16, 16. And that right tower continues to melt. It looks like the Giant's going to make it, guys. The Giant does make it. It starts punching that tower. It only gets about two, three punches. Three punches. 773 left on the right tower. And good game being given off by both players, guys. That is going to end this battle. We came in at the end. Amazing. Amazing to see Savage winning because Savage usually does win his battles. And I'm kind of surprised he's not in first place right now. Savage is a pretty good player. Lord of War maintains his first place position. But he's only got an eight trophy lead right now, guys. That is it, man. Eight trophy lead. That's not a lot. So Ayush going up against Lord of War right now. Ayush versus Lord of War. 
And uh, Lord of War is the top dog, guys. So if Ayush beats him, he will win. Uh, no, he won't. He won't make it in first place, I don't think. But he will knock him off first place. And I know that's what he wants to do, guys. I know he wants to knock him off first place. So, so far, we see a Baby Dragon and a Lightning Strike by Lord of War. Baby Dragon was actually a pretty decent card to deploy. It will bring the Hog Rider down. And that Mini P.E.K.K.A. helped out a lot, too. But check out that damage, guys. Electro Wizard continuing to put the hurt on that left tower. Savage, I know you won, bro. Good job. I'm surprised you're not in first place, dude. 800, 844 hit points left on the left tower of Lord of War. Lord of War is a first place player right now. And um, I don't know if he's got to worry about a rocket on that elixir pump or not, guys. Let's see what happens. I think the rocket was the last card used by Ayushi. So right now, his elixir pump is safe. But for how long, I do not know, guys. He does a skeleton army split, which is a pretty decent strategy. And that was actually nice. Check out the fire spirit. I'm sorry, the ice spirit. Freezing that baby dragon. But the baby dragon really coming across the map now, guys. It gets zapped down by that electric wizard. So the electro wizard bringing down the baby dragon. And a nice lightning strike being used there as well to bring down the furnace card and do some tower damage. Now the electro wizard doing some massive damage to the right tower, bringing it down to 2134. 2134, man! Bottom with Lord of War right now is his left tower, guys. That's the tower that's hurting. Hog Rider coming across the map and no elixir to stop it. He does drop some goblins down, but that Hog Rider will at least get two shots, bringing it all the way down to 316 hit points. I'm not going to play tourneys anymore. Why not, MGR? You were doing so good, my bro. MGR, you were doing so good. What happened, dude? What happened, man? <laughs> you got to keep it. You got to keep yourself uh, focused, dude. Keep yourself focused. You were so pissed off in that last battle. I saw you get so mad. Actually, you were so mad in the last two battles. Remember, bro, stay focused. So there we go, guys. A rocket being used as defense. A mini P.E.K.K.A. Direct. Ooh, mini P.E.K.K.A. though. Two mini P.E.K.K.A.s. What? Oh, no. The log comes in, takes out that entire skeleton army, and now the mini P.E.K.K.A. is free to destroy that last Golemite. 455 hit points left on the left tower of Ayush. And uh, Lord of War has 316. So Lord of War making a pretty decent comeback right there, thanks to that two times Lixir, enabling his Golem deck to kind of uh, get a little bit stronger. 1606 left on the right side of Lord of War. Another lightning strike bringing that left tower down. And now that left tower goes all the way down, guys. It crumbles thanks to that lightning strike, baby dragon combination. Here comes a rocket, though. That means we're going to see overtime, guys. Lord of War has the lead. 1044 hit points left on the right tower of Ayush. 1606 left on the right tower of Lord of War. Here comes a golem. The golem is just so hard to stop sometimes, guys. The mini peckle working really hard right now. Working double tough to stop the golem. The golem explodes. I think it did some tower damage with that explosion. And now the golemites get taken out. 473 hit points left on that right tower of Ayush. This push is very important to him right now, guys. If he fails this push, and it looks like he's about to because that electric wizard. Damn! I take that back, Jack. I take it back, man. I'm tired. Am I not concentrating? My work are stressing me out. Oh, I feel you, dude. <laughs> Oh, I understand what it's like to battle when you're tired, especially when the clan chest is here, guys. Upon Shu, the new top dog right now, though, guys. Upon Shu versus Vishal. And it looks like Vishal got dismantled already, guys. Oh, my God. Losing two towers. Sitting on full elixir. Is he refusing to battle at this point? He drops a balloon. That balloon gets cannibalized by those. Oh, no, 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 no. He's not giving up, but he's about to go down, guys. The balloon got cannibalized by those fire spirits. Tornado spell doing a good job. Pulling back the balloon, saving him. Not even enough time to build a push right there. Not even enough time. But at least he kept battling to the end. I love to see that. He's in my clan, guys. We're getting our asses kicked again. MGR, you're our only hope right now. You can't give up. You got to keep battling, dude. Where's MGR at? Let's go check him out right now. What place is he sitting in? Oh, my God. Dropped all the way from first place to 12th place, guys. All the way from first place to 12th place. And uh, he just ate a rocket on the right tower as well. Eating that rocket on the right tower, and it looks like he changed up his deck. MGR changing his deck, guys. No longer running the P.E.K.K.A. deck. Looks like he's running an Expo deck now, and the Log Skeleton Army Expo combination doing a good job. Not for long, though, because that, uh, that Ice Spirit had something to say about it. The Ice Spirit freezes the Expo, but that Hog Rider will go down. The Expo did manage to bring that left tower down to 1954, under 2,000 hit points. That is really good. That gives MGR a very slight lead. It looks like Ayush is going to focus on the right tower. MGR will focus on the left tower. This always makes battles really interesting, guys, because the offense and defense is so hard to counter when somebody's focused on one lane and the other player's focused on the opposite lane. So there's the furnace card, guys, being deployed, being ready and set to attack the right tower, and it does. Expo Musketeer combination, the Expo's building, and the Expo locking onto the tower, guys. 
Those skeletons being used to assist in bringing down the Mini P.E.K.K.A. He's trying to keep his Expo alive. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. still survives. It gets locked, guys, but the Mini P.E.K.K.A. will start to dismantle that Expo. Expo surviving, bringing the left tower down. Is it going to happen? Is the left tower going to go down? Oh, my God, guys. The left tower is down. Just barely. Just barely, guys. The Expo explodes as the left tower goes down with it. Wow. Nice job by MGR. I hate Expo decks. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I hate them. I don't use them. I hate them. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, Electro Wizard versus Musketeer right now, and it will become a right lane battle now, guys. MGR has to defend his right lane. And we do know that Ayush is going to continue to try and push on that right lane as well. The Hog Rider gets stopped dead in his tracks. Thanks to that Inferno Tower, it will go down. The Inferno Tower turning it into Hog Bacon. It's a pig roast tonight, guys. It's a pig roast. Ayush with full elixir deploying another furnace card. And actually, it's always good to deploy a furnace card, guys. Here comes a rocket getting ready to take out that expo. That was a good job. Um, Electro Wizard is going to go ahead and counter the knight. Nice job, man. MGR giving them the good luck. 1303 sitting on the right tower of MGR. That is what's separating a huge from overtime right now. He's got 30 seconds to get the job done. The Electro Wizard does make it across the map. And it will score some hit point damage, guys. Bringing it down to 910. 910, man. 910. There's an expo getting ready to defend the right tower. That was actually a really good job. The Expo defending the right tower, and the Electro Wizard zapping it down, guys. Mini Pekka coming in right now, gets long pushed back just for a little while, and also a Knight being placed there as well. The Hawk Rider sneaks past everything, though. Electro Wizard is still there, and it looks like MGR should not have wished him good luck, because he just lost his right tower, and he is expressing his depression. I mean, uh, <laughs> not depression, but he's expressing how upset he is. He just cried. What's up, Mr. Holy Socks? Not too late, bro. You can actually join the tournament if you want to. We don't have a full one right now, and that's probably because it's 3 o'clock in the morning. I normally stream around 7 to 9 p.m., but it's 3 o'clock in the morning right now, and I'm streaming. Somebody asked me to stream later on in the nighttime. Somebody wanted me to stream during their daytime, so I decided to go ahead and give it a shot. Here we are, guys. 3 o'clock in the morning, wide awake. And MGR expressing frustration right now. He hasn't taken any tower damage on this left tower, though. So I don't think he's got a lot to worry about, but 2142, that's a lot of hit points as well, guys. Ayush has a very healthy tower, and he's using those furnaces to his advantage. He continues to defend himself with those furnace cards. They keep pumping out those fire spirits, and those fire spirits doing a good job uh, doing a lot of damage. And I'm wondering, what the hell's going on outside my house? Something's always going on outside my house, guys. There's like a crowd of people at 3 o'clock in the morning. Don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Don't know what they're doing. There's just a crowd of people. See, I'll join the next turn. I'm going to take a break from Royale. Okay, no problem, Mr. Holy Socks. Let's see, I might be at uh, 1 hour and 30 minutes. What are you talking about? Co Gamer Sanchez, what's up, man? What are you talking about an hour and 30 minutes? Oh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes? I'm confused. Anyway, <laughs> Ayush versus MGR can right now, and MGR has lost his lead by about 100 hit points. And now that Hog Rider continues to deal some damage, along with an Electro Wizard that he stops with a Knight, guys. 1542 left, and the Expo managed to lock onto that right tower just for a little bit. Bringing it down to 1854. 1854, guys. 1854 versus 1542. What's going to happen in this battle? we got a minute and 20 seconds to find out. Hog Rider coming across the map. Inferno Tower right there trying to stop the Hog Rider. But check that out, though, guys. Beautifully placed Skeleton Army stopping the Inferno Tower. He had to use his skeletons to bring it down. That Hog Rider got away with some damage, though. 1180 left on the left tower of MGR. So at this point, I think MGR is in survival mode. Another Hog Rider, guys. This time it does get stopped by the Inferno Tower, but that Electro Wizard continuing to stun. And, uh, ooh, Electro Wizard versus Electro Wizard and a log being used in defense. Desperation tactic right there by MGR. MGR surviving with 980 hit points, guys. He's got to worry about some rockets. I don't know why he threw the log right there. That must have been a fat finger slip because he said, oops, here comes a rocket. Rocket brings him down to 487 hit points. That's super scary because if you drop some arrows and another rocket, that is it for MGR right now, guys. And he's got 30 seconds to do it. 30 seconds is a lot of time. That hog rat, here come the arrows. 389 hit points, guys. Are we going to see another rocket? Right now, that expo is locked onto that furnace card. And here comes the other rocket. Rocket versus rocket. MGR cried. And just like that, the victory was stolen away from the grasp of MGR, man. MGR with another loss, continuing to drop further and further down in the ladder, man. He was in first place. Upon Shu is a new first place winner. Uh, he's got 160 trophies, and second place has 139 trophies. You quit the tournament. Don't quit, MGR. You can't. You're a clan killer, dude. Why aren't you killing clans? You are a clan, you are a clan killer. You got to get your ass in that war, dude. You got to fight for the clan, man. <laughs>
change your deck, do something. You actually doing a good job with that expo deck. I gotta give it to you, bro. I have got to give it to you. I'm surprised that you lost that battle. Alright, we got Adith Krishina versus XT4Z. And we're getting a good game very early on in the match from XT4Z. And a well played as well. Adith expressing some frustration. Crybaby face from T4, so I think he's trying to rattle him. I think he's trying to shake him up a little bit. He's like, I'm going to break your concentration. I'm going to get into your head and play some mind games, and you're going to lose this battle. So let's see what's up with T4Z, because I've never seen him battle before, guys. He's brand new to these tournaments. He's going up against Adith, another new player to these tournaments. What is the password? What's up, TonyMan29? The password is Twitch. Password is Twitch, my bro. Welcome to the live stream, by the way. I'm glad you're here. XT4Z. Was doing a lot of taunting early on in the battle. He did bring that left tower down to 11.33. So Adith is kind of concerned right now. But finally he is managing to get in some tower damage as well. Bringing it down to 17.28. XT4Z did take a little bit of a pounding right there. Not too much though. Both players regenerating their elixir right now. Both of them getting ready for a push. So let's see what happens in this left lane battle guys. Both right towers are being ignored. Nothing happening on the right side. And again we got barbarians and uh oh. That's it. He's not defending himself. Did he give up? Did he get disconnected? Why did he drop his archer so late? That Prince Barbarian combination just bringing that left tower down. It's like he gave it to him, guys. I don't know if he quit or what happened right there. He might have been lagging. I don't know, guys. But he did not drop anything to defend himself. And that log cannibalizing that skeleton army. Poor Royal Giant, guys. Poor Royal Giant's going to get eaten up by those. And that was a bad call as well, guys. Let's see. Looks like the Indians are in the tourney. Most of them have Indian names. Really? That explains why I'm having a hard time uh, pronouncing all those names. Dude, I'm so bad with foreign names. That's why I'm trying to avoid saying a lot of these people's names. Because I don't want to insult anybody or make anybody feel bad by saying their names uh, wrong. <laughs> it's so hard for me to say some foreign names sometimes. Especially Asian or Indian ones. Alright. So that's it, guys. Um, it looks like Adith is going to lose this battle because his King Tower is taking so much damage. Normally, I say it's too early to call. We're at two times Elixir right now, 35 seconds left on the clock, and uh, his King Tower has 906 hit points. He is doing some serious damage right now to the left tower of XT4Z, but with 90... Look at this, look at this. So he does bring the left tower down, but his King Tower only had four hit points. So that was it right there, guys. Four hit points, end of the battle. XT4Z winning and laughing as well. He was doing a lot of taunting early on. So we're going to keep our eyes on him because I want to see if he's going to continue to win or lose. That's what I want to know. We've got 31 players, 19 minutes left. Password is Twitch. If you guys want to join, you still might be able to climb your way up a little bit. Overall, if you want to have some fun battling some people in the tournament, this is the place to be right now. I do tournaments every two days, so make sure you guys follow this channel. Um, also, subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's where I post all the tournament details. If you guys want to be the first ones to get them, if you guys want to be the first ones to get notified, make sure that you guys do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's also Pro Wrestling Gamer. So, XT4Z versus Vishal for my clan, guys. And I'm kind of nervous about this one. I love the witch card, but the witch is about to get cannibalized right now. Those barbarians will as well, though, guys. The barbarians do go down thanks to the witch ice wizard combination. Ice wizard will stay alive, I think. Just with a few hit points, but he will stay alive. We got a well played right now being given by XT4Z, which is kind of strange because he was he was taunted in the last battle, guys. That's why we're watching him again right now. He was taunting in the last battle, so I want to know if he's got the skills to back up his mouth. What's up, Loki underscore Kev? Welcome to the live stream, my bro. I'm glad you're here. Oh my god, this is the first time in a long time that I've seen a giant skeleton being used. The giant skeleton being deployed by Vishal. It does go down, the balloon does make it across the map and explodes on the tower. Bringing that tower all the way down to 1497, but that prince managed to get a dash spear attack, guys. The password is Twitch, my bro. Floki underscore Kev, the password is Twitch. 1147 left on the right tower of Bishal. He doesn't have any elixir right now. I don't know what he's going to do to defend himself. That right tower is going to go down, guys. I'm so sorry, but that ice wizard is not going to be enough to slow down those elite barbarians. It goes down, and now his king tower is going to take damage as well. So Vishal is suffering right now, guys. He's hurting with 3246 left on his King Tower, and he's already lost his right tower. But that doesn't mean the battle's over, guys. We haven't even seen two times Lixir yet, and there's 1497 left on the right lane of XT4Z. Giant Skeleton Goblin Barrel combination right now. The Giant Skeleton doing the tanking, and the Goblin's doing some damage right now, but that Princess is there to meet them. 543 hit points left. The giant skeleton explodes, taking out one barbarian. Two of them are still alive, as well as a princess. And now we got a prince behind the barbs, guys. This is not good. Looks like he's trying to go for a three crown win right now. The witch was a good card to use. Witch doing nice at uh, countering that prince. But that prince is doing some serious tower damage. He's forced to deploy his ice wizard to kind of slow down the damage right there. Elite barbarians. 
that witch needs to spit out some more skeletons. It does, but check out the log bringing it down, and now he's in trouble of getting 3 crown, guys. He's in some serious danger right now, and he does get 3 crown. XT4Z winning, giving him a good game. Love to see the good sportsmanship right there. XT4Z with a 3 crown victory over Vishal. Vishal, come on, man. We need a good clan killer up in here. We need somebody to represent us right. I hope MGR did not drop out, man. I hope he didn't. Passwords, Twitch, guys. Hashtags on the top of your screen. 16 minutes left to battle. MGR is about to go at it. So it's going to be MGR versus Chrominus. First time seeing Chrominus, guys. MGR versus Chrominus. And let's see what happens right now with this rocket. Rocket gets sent across the map. Did it miss the tower? Oh, my God. Chrominus gets three crowned. Good job, MGR. So it looks like MGR uses a fireball to kill the king tower, man. Good job, MGR. It's good to see you win again, man. I hope you can climb your way back up there because I know you want to be back in first place where you were. Looks like Ayush continues to stay in first place, but he's only got three uh, three crowns lead. Let's see if he's actually battling Upan Shu. That would be a good one to see. Nope, he's not. He's battling FB Soldier, and I wonder if FB stands for Facebook. I don't know, guys. So let's see what happens right now. Ayush is, I think, in second place or in first place. No, he's in first place with a three trophy lead. That's right. That's what I said like 20 seconds ago, and I forgot. <laughs> Oh, getting those notifications, guys. All right. Um, Drazy commenting on my Facebook saying instant like. Thank you so much. Shout out to Drazy for liking my video on YouTube. Did I say commenting on my Facebook? It was actually on my YouTube. All right. Facebook Soldier versus Ayush. I shouldn't be calling him Facebook Soldier because I don't even know if that FB means Facebook. So we're just going to go ahead and call him Soldier. That's it. And um, Ayush doing a good job right now, guys. Wow. He's defended both his towers significantly well. That left tower took a little bit of damage. Password. What's up, Sidori? The password is Twitch. Password is Twitch. You got about 15 minutes left in the tournament, but the password is Twitch. Um, so Ayush doing a really good job defending himself. 2305 left on his left tower. No damage taken on his right tower. And he's already done a significant amount of damage to uh, Soldier's left tower. 1478 remains. 10 seconds left on the clock. It's pretty much safe to say this battle is over, guys. Another victory for Ayush. That's going to further extend his lead and keep him in first place. He's not going to drop down out of first place, guys. I don't think he's going to. I think he's going to stay up there for a while now. He's pretty comfortable up there right now. Let's see how much of his lead, uh, how much of a lead he's got right now. So he's got, he's got 179 trophies. So he's got a 19 trophy lead right now over Upan Shu, who's battling. Let's go ahead and check out Upan Shu real quick. Let's just see how well he's doing, guys. We're in overtime right now versus Wu La La. So Wu La La doing a pretty good job right now, and that's a beautiful bowler right there. Oh my god, guys. That was such a good bowler. That bowler taking out both goblin barrels. Now a rocket being used on the bowler. It also hit the tower, guys. Bringing the tower down at 1247. 1247 versus 1552. Graveyard spell being deployed right now, guys. And a freeze spell along with an ice golem. The zap spell helping him out. Goblin barrel being used as a defensive tactic right there. But he is getting that tower damage. The tower um, goes all the way down to 809. 809, guys. 809 versus 1247. Too close to call. 400 hit point difference. Roughly a 400 hit point difference. Here comes the Goblin Barrel. Goblin Barrel with a log. Doing some good damage as well. Bringing them down to 799, guys. These guys are tied up. They're tied up right now. Less than 100 hit points. And now it looks like Wu La La is pushing again, guys. Doing a good job right now. Bringing the tower down all the way to 209. 209 is where it sits right now. Upan Shu surviving, but just barely. A rocket, though, is going to do some serious damage. 306 versus 209, guys. 306 versus 209. Upan Shu needs to win this, and he loses. Oh, my God. He's so sad right now, guys. That drops him down in the ladder, guys. He was in second place. He was in second place. Wu La La being the se beating the second place player right now. And that puts Lord of War in second place. Lord of War was in first place for a long time. And now he's only down by two trophies. So if Ayushi loses his battle right now, let's go ahead and check him out once again. If Ayushi loses this battle, um, he's actually going to drop down in Lord of War where we claim the first place spot again. And right now it looks like Tony's doing a really good job, by the way, guys. Both players just getting started, though. Looks like we got two minutes and ten seconds left in this battle. Both players just getting started. And uh, who's got the lead right now? It doesn't look like anybody does. I guess Ayushi has a slight lead, but not anymore. Not after that Hog Rider, guys. 2270 left on the right lane of Ayushi and 2436 left on the left lane of Tony. Right now they're having a the right lane battle. Hog Rider comes in and steals away the lead, giving it back to Ayushi from Nova Kerala. Frustration from Tony right there. I don't blame him, guys. He's down to 1644, man. That's a lot of damage he just took right there. 1644 is not a joke. A minute and 47 uh, minute and 40 seconds left in this battle right now, guys. 
What's gonna happen, man? It's so intense. The end of the tournament's always super intense to me. I don't know why, guys. Every player sitting on top is like trying to stay there desperately. Back-to-back -back battles in this entire tournament. Frustration by Tony right now, saying, oops, I guess he wasted something. I don't know what it was. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was looking at the camera when he did that. And a rocket, beautifully placed, by the way, guys. Electro Wizard versus Electro Wizard. Ayushis goes down because of the tower support. Hog Rider coming in right now. Oh, 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 oh. Hog Rider gets frozen by the Ice Spirit and uh, gets distracted as well by the Furnace Guard, guys. But it does score a shot. It steals away one shot, bringing the tower down to 1,900 hit points even, guys. So let's see what happens at two times. Elixir, thumbs up, being given by Tony. Both players having a good time. I'd love to see that, guys. Bowler coming in right now. Bowler stopping those ice or uh, fire spirits. Making his way across the map. And a rocket gets used on the bowler. Beautifully placed Electro Wizard in the rear as well, guys. Electro Wizard in the rear will survive. It's going to be Electro Wizard versus Electro Wizard. Goblins in the front, guys. They lead the pack with a hog rider. Here comes a hog rider targeting the furnace. Gets distracted by those fires or uh, skeleton army. But the princess, the princess doing a good job bringing that skeleton army down. No damage done to Ayushi's right tower though, guys. Now he's got to worry about a mini P.E.K.K.A. and another Hog Rider. Hog Rider getting taken out by the skeleton army as well as the mini P.E.K.K.A., guys. Wow, back and forth battle right now. I swear to God, it's crazy, man. Back and forth battle. End of the tournament almost. And everybody is going crazy. Everybody wants to stay on top. Wow. <laughs> We're going to see overtime. Oh my god, we're going to see overtime. 11.51 left on the right tower of Tony. 1836 on the right tower of Ayushi. 180 seconds left, guys. Overtime. Mini Pekka going down. Electro Wizard versus Bowler. The Electro Wizard stunning that Bowler. It's unable to toss anything. Look at the, look at the Bowler. The Bowler can't do a goddamn thing, man. And that's a beautifully placed rocket, I got to say, guys. It brings down the Electro Wizard, the Bowler, and does tower damage. 658 hit points all left on that right tower. That's it, man. Tony's in trouble, guys. 480, oh no! The Ice Spirit getting that damage done, 363 hit points. He is a rocket away from losing. That's it, guys. One rocket, and that's it. He knows he lost the battle. I gotta tell you guys, he lost the battle. Here comes a rocket and a good game being given up. Frustration from Tony. Ayushi with the one crown victory right there. Awesome battle, guys. That was an awesome battle, man. For a while, they were back and forth. Tournament's ending in 10 minutes. They were back and forth, and then somehow Ayushi just stealing the lead. Now he's got 199 trophies, guys. 199 trophies. 177 left, uh, actually, for Lord of War. So let's go ahead and check out Lord of War. Because if he wins this battle, and it looks like he's going to, though, guys. Two times Elixir, and he's got a Golem deck. So that Golem deck has a massive advantage. I predict the three crown right now. I know it's really early to call. There's 40 seconds left on the clock, guys. But there's a Mini P.E.K.K.A. and a Golem. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. is going to bring down that King Tower. Wow. So that's a victory for Lord of War. Let's go ahead and see what's up, man. We're about to find out right now if Lord of War stole the top spot. I don't think so, but I think he's really close. He's right underneath him, guys. A four-trophy difference right now, and it looks like Upan Shu, which is a really good player, is going to go up against Ayushi. So let's check that out right now. Upan Shu versus Ayushi, guys. If Upan Shu brings down Ayushi, that will put Lord of War in first place. He cannot lose, guys. Neither one of these players can lose right now. Everybody has to win. Unfortunately, there must be a winner and there must be a loser. That's a problem, guys. Clash Royale. There must be a winner and there must be a loser. Very rarely do I ever see draws in tournaments. Very rarely. But if you guys love tournament action, guys, make sure you do follow this channel. I appreciate the support. I really do. I appreciate it from the very bottom of my heart. I do tournaments every two days. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's also Pro Wrestling Gamer. That's where I post all the tournament details. Anytime I prep a tournament, I post a video that says Clash Royale, join my tournament. This one was Clash Royale, join my tournament 62. And uh, it has all the tournament details in there. It has the hashtag, the password, all the stuff that you need to know to be notified so that you can join and never miss out. Guys, I do tournaments every two days. Sometimes I do some big ones. But, you know, gems are expensive. They cost a lot of money. <laughs> so I just do a lot of small ones, and every now and then I throw a big one in there. My PC is weird. I run a game with good graphics at a uh, high on 60 frames per second, but on a game with not so good graphics, it runs at 23 frames per second on low settings. Yeah, that's kind of weird, dude. It might be the game not being optimized for your PC. Sometimes games are just not optimized for that. I don't know, dude. That's kind of weird, Mr. Holy Socks, but yeah. What, what games are you talking about? Like, what do you run at 23 frames per second versus uh, running a 3D game at 60 frames per second? I'm kind of curious now. All right, Upon Shu versus Ayushi right now, guys. And remember, Ayushi cannot lose this battle. If Upon Shu defeats him, Ayushi loses first place, and I think Lord of War takes first place, guys. So let's see what happens right now. Ayushi doing a pretty good job defending himself with that Furnace card, but it is Furnace versus Furnace card right now. Furnace versus Furnace. The Hog Rider jumps over that river, guys, and starts doing damage to that Furnace card. Electro Wizard doing some damage control as well. And now it's going to be Electro Wizard 
uh, being taken out by the Executioner. I was going to say Electro Wizard versus Executioner, but it did go down right there, guys. Electro Wizard goes down to the Executioner. Now we got Executioner Goblin Barrel. And uh, I don't know if the Skeleton Armor was a good call. That's probably all he had, but the Executioner does go down, so it was a good call. The Log taking out the entire Skeleton Army. And now the Mini Pekka steals away a shot on the right side, bringing Upon Chu's tower down to 1469. Both players pretty much tied up, separated by 200 hit points, guys. That's it. 200 hit points. Hog Rider coming across the map right now with an Electro Wizard for support. And that Hog Rider doing a good job bringing down the Furnace card. That, um, that Executioner doing some good damage control right now. Unturned runs at 23 frames per second. Paladins on high runs at 60 frames. That's kind of weird, dude. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to help you out with that, bro. <laughs> anyway, if you guys love tournament action, you guys are brand new to this channel. I do tournaments every two days. Please follow this channel. I appreciate the support very much. Thank you guys so much. If you guys do follow the channel, I appreciate it. But I also appreciate you guys being here right now. Taking the time to be here with me. It's 3.18 in the morning, guys. I'm an insomniac live streamer. I swear to God, I don't sleep. <laughs> I live stream during the day. I live stream at night. So if you guys enjoy tournament action, PS4 games, and mobile games, follow this channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys. That's where you're going to get all the notifications for brand new tournaments. I post them on my YouTube channel. Any, every. I just hope I can run Overwatch. That's why I bought Overwatch on my PS4, dude. Because I know I can't run it on this PC, so I bought it on my PS4. For real. Uh-oh, Rocket coming across the map. It's going to damage the Furnace. Oh, actually, that Furnace goes all the way down. And the tower gets brought down to 600 hit points. 1131 left on the right side. But anyway, guys, again, all the tournament details get posted on my YouTube first. Um, so if you guys want to subscribe there, that would be great. Make sure you hit the notification bell on the side as well, though, guys, because YouTube is kind of anal about that. If you don't hit the notification bell these days, then you might not get uh, notified whenever I post a video. Those videos say Clash Royale join my tournament. And... Um, they contain, I'm just watching this battle, guys. Seven hit points left on Ayushi's tower. He's about to lose his lead right now. He's in first place. Seven hit points are left. He's depending on that Hog Rider, guys, and the Hog Rider doing that damage. Uh-oh! Oh, my God! He survived with seven hit points. Unfreaking believable He survived with seven hit points right there, guys. Ayushi staying on top. That is why you never give up. He, it, it was doom and gloom. He just came back from the grave right there. Five minutes left in the tournament, by the way, guys. Ayushi sitting on top. With 224 trophies, Lord of War right underneath him. And what I would love to see is Ayushi versus Lord of War. So I'm actually going to sit here and wait for a little bit. Sit here and wait. Tell you guys about those YouTube videos. Those YouTube videos contain the hashtag, they contain the password, and the tournament name. Anytime I prep a tournament, it goes post, it gets posted on YouTube with a hashtag, password, and tournament name. Uh, my YouTube channel is Pro Wrestling Gamer. My Instagram, my Twitter, everything is Pro Wrestling Gamer, guys. My Twitch, everything is Pro Wrestling Gamer. So if you guys want to follow me on social media, it's Pro Wrestling Gamer on Instagram and Twitter. If you guys want to go ahead and follow me here, you're already here, so go ahead and click that follow button. And if you guys want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's Pro Wrestling Gamer. All right, Lord of War doing battle once again. And Ayushi can't afford to sit here and coast. Four minutes left in the battle. If Lord of War wins this, he will be in first place unless Ayushi battles. So XT4Z going up against Ayushi, guys. XT4Z is a good player. I've seen two of his battles. I have not seen him lose a single battle. Now, keep in mind, I've only seen two of his battles. He's going to go ahead and push with these Barbarians. Prince combo. Baby Dragon is a good counter card. Um, he also uses a Mini P.E.K.K.A. to pull away the troops. That way he does not suffer, so far, no damage. Wow, no damage at all. Is that barb going to go down? Yep, the barb goes down. Fantastic counter by Lord of War right there, guys. Fantastic counter. 25-34 left on that left tower of Lord of War. No damage has been taken, man. Elite Barbarians, though, they're going to score some damage on the right side. And they brought that tower all the way down to 1264. So, XT4Z showing them, man. Showing them he can contend. Frustration being set in from uh, Lord of War right there. He's frustrated. He's from German Elite. I'd be frustrated, too. Those Elite Barbarians got nerfed, but they're still pretty strong. Once again, with a frowny face. Throughout the face from Lord of War, dropping another elixir pump down, and so far no projectiles from XT4Z. So that's pretty good for Lord of War. If the battle progresses, as time goes on, I think Lord of War is going to gain the advantage simply because he's got two elixir pumps down right now. He's getting a well played. Mini P.E.K.K.A. marching across the map all by himself, now crossing that river, and the Mini P.E.K.K.A. gets stopped dead in his tracks by those barbarians. Cry baby face right there by Lord of War. He was about, oh, he did deploy his golem. I said he was about to, but he actually did deploy his golem. Those minions doing a good counter for those barbs. And they're also going to go ahead and take it to the prince, but the prince does score that dash shot, though, guys. That's not good. Bringing that left tower down to 1883. 1124 on the right side, and now he has to put a push behind this golem. He drops a baby dragon. What else? It's going to take more than a baby dragon. He dropped some, uh, okay, that was good. Not really, though. That wizard taking out those goblins, but look at that left tower. It's starting to melt right now, guys. XT4Z. Losing that right tower. Did I say left? I meant right. 
Sorry about that, guys. He lost that right tower right there. And the Golem making it all the way to the King Tower where it's going to explode and cause even more damage. Beautiful lightning strike by Lord of War as well. And now those Golemites taking it to the King Tower. The P.E.K.K.A. still alive, guys. That mini P.E.K.K.A. hurt the King Tower right now. Log Minion Combination will help bring down those Elite Barbarians. The Elite Barbarians don't bring the tower down, but there is a Miner hiding there. The Miner bringing it all the way down to 486. But that King Tower is in trouble right now with 1975 left on it. Lightning Strike doing some more damage. Bringing it all the way down to 1629, man. 1629, guys. Mini P.E.K.K.A. gets stopped, then distracted by the Barbarians. And now the Princess doing a good job against those minions right there. But the Log stopping the Barbarians dead in their tracks. What's going to happen right now? Are those Elite Barbarians going to bring it down? I think they might. They get distracted. Oh my god, guys. Beautiful counters by Lord of War. Three seconds left on the clock and a good game being given. That was a good game, man. That was super close. Super close. Both players battling it out to the end. Tooth and nail, guys. For real, man. Oh my gosh. TXT4Z. That's the first time I've seen him lose. Lord of War is now on top. He's on top right now, guys, with 233 trophies. Ayushi sitting in second place doing battle right now. He cannot lose. He cannot lose. And it does not look like he is going to lose at all. Sanchit loses that left tower right now. And Lord of... Or actually, no, not Lord of War. Ayushi has no tower damage done at all, guys. No tower damage done at all. So Lord of War and Ayushi going back and forth combating for first place right now. And what sucks is um, after Ayushi wins this battle, he's not going to be able to match make again, I don't think, guys. <laughs> That's what sucks. After Yushi wins this battle, because I do predict he's going to win it, he is not going to be able to battle again. And uh, Lord of War is probably queued up and ready to battle again right now. So if Lord of War wins his next battle, he's still in first place. Whether Yushi likes it or not, he's pretty much helpless to do anything about it, guys. Pretty much helpless. He's going to lose first place if Lord of War wins his next battle. I guarantee that's going to happen, guys. Let's see what's up, though. So we got two furnaces and an elixir pump being put right there, kind of close to the river, being used as defense, but check out the skeleton army gobbling it up. Sanchit in trouble right now, guys, with that hog rider making it all the way across the map right there. And that right tower is about to go down as well. The right tower will go down thanks to that electro wizard, and now it's only the king tower left. It looks like a two crown victory. It might even be a three crown victory. That mini pick is sitting right there, full elixir by Sanchit, who completely gave up, did not defend himself from the mini pick, so Ayushi earns himself a three crown victory right there. Good effort, though. Good effort by Sanchit, man. All right, what's going to happen? So here we got Ayushi sitting in first place. Like I told you guys, he cannot battle because the tournament ended. So he's sitting in first place. But look at Lord of War. I know he's going to eyeball him. I'm going to eyeball him as well, guys. Brand new battle. Actually, no, it's not that new. Two minutes left in the battle right now. Roughly under two minutes. And uh, Lord of War has a nice lead right now in the right tower, guys. 1789 left on the right side of Upon Shu. So, so... Ayushi is in trouble right now, man. Oh my god, what's gonna happen, guys? And a rocket being used on that left tower. That was kind of strange, but he did use a rocket on the left tower, bringing it down to 2041. So I don't know if he's gonna focus all his efforts on the left tower, but as it is, as it stands right now, that baby dragon spits out a fireball and brings down Upanchu's right tower to 1656. Man! 1656 guys thank you guys so much for being here with me at 325 in the morning i'm from chicago it's 325 in the morning guys i'm an insomniac streamer for real man i stream day and night playstation 4 games mobile games i stream them all guys so if you guys like this channel please follow it and uh don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel which is also pro wrestling gamer we've got upon shu versus lord of war and another lightning strike being used right there this time to hurt the furnace and the left tower and uh oh Two times elixir means the golem gains an advantage. That skeleton army is going to cannibalize the mini P.E.K.K.A. though. Not before he drops. Oh, nice tornado counter as well. So check out that executioner working overtime right there, guys. Bringing down the golem into golemites. The golemites will reach the tower and do very little damage. 1450 left on that right tower. And now we got a rocket being flung toward the king tower. But it doesn't hit the king tower. It was used to target the elixir pump. That was odd strategy. I would have dropped it on the left tower. It's got 1089. Lord of War is in trouble right now, guys. Lord of War is in trouble. Using that lightning strike to bring the right tower down to 1104. 1104 versus 1089. Tied up, guys. Goblin Barrel being flown across the map right now. Log used to counter, but there's another Goblin Barrel right there. Goblins being used to counter goblins as well. You're back and feeling frustrated. Don't feel bad, MGR. Don't feel bad, dude. You did a good job, man. You were in first place for a while. We all can't be winners, man. You know you've seen me lose so many battles so many times, dude. You can't win them all. The name of the game is having fun. You can't win them all, but the name of the game is having fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 148 hit points are left on the left side of Lord of War. Ayushi must be so happy right now. There's six spectators 
Six spectators in Clash Royale right now, guys. Six spectators in Clash Royale. Oh, no! The Mini P.E.K.K.A. did it! The Mini P.E.K.K.A. stole it! Wow! That's going to put Mortal War in first place. Guaranteed tournament has ended. Oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God. What happened? Lord of War stole it! Oh, and he stole it so good, too! It wasn't even like a slight lead, guys. Wow, 255 trophies versus 238. So, Lord of War in first place, Ayushi in second place, and Wu La La in third place with 167. Then we got Upan Chu in fourth place. Good effort by him. XT4Z worked his way all the way up to fifth place. Floki in sixth. Savage in seventh. Tony in eighth. Master XD in ninth. And Adith in tenth. Everybody else underneath doesn't get anything, guys. Unfortunately, everybody can't be a winner. But if you guys had fun, that makes you a winner, man. Because the name of the game at the end of the day is having fun. If you're not having fun, you shouldn't be playing, right? So if you guys had fun, that's all that matters. Good game to everybody. I appreciate you guys being here so much. You guys are awesome. Do not forget to follow this channel. Subscribe to my YouTube, which is Pro Wrestling Gamer. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Everything is Pro Wrestling Gamer. I post updates all the time. I live stream each and every single day. And if you guys want updates on tournaments, make sure you definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's where I post the Clash Royale. Join my tournament videos every single time that I prep them to get posted on YouTube at Pro Wrestling Gamer. They include the hashtag, the password, and the tournament name. All right, guys. That was intense. That's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for being here. I will be starting another tournament very, very soon as usual. And I will talk with you guys very, very soon again. Take care, everybody, and peace out.